on today we're going to go ahead and draw a crewmate that was ejected into outer space so let's do it it's gonna be super simple and easy and for beginners okay so if you don't know how to draw if you've never drawn in your life you're gonna be able to draw this with me right now all right so let's get started so the first thing i'm going to start with is i'm going to start with a curve right here of kind of the lens of the crewmate well they think he's an imposter but he's probably still a crewmate okay so it's a curve right there and we're going to angle it off over here. So we're going to go right here, down, curve over here. Right on. Now, let's go this side over here. Down right here on this end. Curve along the edge right there. Cool, cool. So that's the crewmate lens. And I made it thinner like that because he's kind of squinting his eyes like in fear, you know. <clears throat> Now we're going to start from this side and I'm going to pull an angle out this direction away for the length of most of his front of his body. So out there, like so. Okay. So hopefully that's clear so far. Going over here, pull back for kind of the top of the head. And I curve back here. Down, like so. Let's go over here now. So, so far so good, right? We're gonna pull this angle right here the same as this angle we just did. Whatever that is, just try to make it the same angle, okay? So we're gonna pull downward over here. There we go. All right, so he's already floating out there in the midst of space. He's kind of scared, he doesn't know what to do, all that stuff. And now we're gonna continue down here, curve down. Over here, curve down. So there's one leg kind of flailing right there. And then we're gonna close it off over here. Okay, we're almost there. Remember when you're drawing cute things though? Um, there is a basically ebook I compiled for you just to take a pause. And there's an ebook on how to draw anything cute. So if you want to draw like a pet cute, you want to draw like just a cute character from your mind, you want to create your own personal character and be able to draw that in a cute way, there's a formula to drawing cute things and it's incredibly easy, okay? I put that formula, which is not mine, it's just a very basic one. Um, I put that out there on a ebook. Basically, it's 10 pages. Uh, it is entirely pictures and it will help you do anything you want as far as cute drawing. I go over a chibi, comparing it to a normal cute, and uh, you know, basically it's ready to print, so you can print it out at will, or you can just have it as a reference on your phone. But having something like this is good for remembering, and the other part is you don't really have to practice that hard because I'm just telling you, make, you know, if you already know how to generally draw the head, draw the head bigger, draw the eyes bigger compared to this, proportion. Things like that are really important. So proportion is probably the most important part of drawing cute. Um, anyone can do this, and it is free. So go take a look at that page. It's 100% free in the description. And yeah, let me know what you think, okay? It is free right now. But it will not always be free. I have to tell you this now. I'm going to start charging for it in a few months. But right now is your chance to get it free, okay? So it's just right in the description. It's going to be the very first link. So let's continue with this guy. I'm going to pull in over here. Curve over here for the other leg. Curve right here on this side for this leg. And curve in right there. <clears throat> I'm gonna go over here now. Pull down. Pull down over here. Up right there, you have that backpack right there. Just kind of floating with him, right? That that strong backpack that's going on. Right on. So let's continue into the final stuff. So right here, we want to draw his hands flailing out, those hands that they appear on and off. So let's draw them real easy, okay? Curve right here, up over here for the thumb area. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna curve back like so. We draw another curve here 
It's kind of like the fatty pad of, you know, where your thumb is attached. Okay. Curve over here for the other side. And now we're going to go from here, line up, down, pull down here. His hands are just going to be open, just flailing out there like, help me, help me, right? Good, good. Line across for kind of where that ends. And then we're going to just draw some lines up. We're just going to give him three fingers on the top right there. You can draw three or four. It's up to you. So right there is one side. Now we're going to go to the other side. His hand's going to be outward, flailing that way. So we draw a curve up over here, curve down, line over here. And then we're going to continue to curve on this side. So remember, there's a fatty pad right there where your thumb is. Like if you look at your own hand, you can see it like right there, you know, look at, look at your own hand. It's kind of cool to reference that. Go over here on this side. We're going to pull up and we're going to curve right there. Have that tally full line across. Down. And we're going to wait. We're going to we'll draw another one down here. Okay, we're almost done, really. And then we're going to go right here. He's nervous, so he's going to be sweating. So line right there. Line right there. Line right there. Just nervous. Then over here on this side, we're going to draw a wiggling shape right here. It's going to be for the lens reflection. And circle right here for the other part of that lens, like that highlight. The cool part about this line right here is you can kind of do whatever you want with it. You can make it thick and thin. It doesn't really matter. It's almost always, as long as it's wiggly like this, it's going to look like some form of a reflection. That's what's cool about it. All right. That is it. Okay. Let me thicken this line out a little bit. I want you to stay. I want you to share the video if you can. If you liked it, share the video. If you liked it, hit the like button. It really helps out the channel. Um, go back to all other videos that you may have liked and hit the like on those. Really helps out. Um, and I want you to stay right there because we're going to go through another drawing lesson right now. Okay? So I want you to stay right there. Let's get going. Okay, so that was amazing. You finished this lesson, but keep it going. Keep the art practice going by clicking this video right here. It's going to be within the same theme. And you want to keep it rolling to get better and better and better and get that art flow going. So click right here.